Now welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with Oris Lightning Takes. And let's get right to the news, which will contain no Ahsoka spoilers for the episode that just came out. Because we haven't seen it yet. Right, we're recording this a day in advance because of my work schedule and stuff. But, Plus we don't want to accidentally say anything. But I do have some interesting news. We talked a while ago on this channel about a special that Disney Plus was going to be putting on called Master and Apprentice, A Special Look at Ahsoka. The original date of this was supposed to be next week, Friday, on like the 15th, but that has since changed. Originally, it was scheduled on the 15th before Ahsoka all of a sudden had a two-episode premiere. I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. <laughs> now it has moved up, and the special is going to be on this Friday, which is also when D23 starts, but that's not really related to this. That we know of. I mean, it wasn't before, <laughs> so why would it still, why would it be now, I guess? Exactly. But what I do think it relates to is the order in which the episodes are coming out. Meaning, they needed this special to go specifically between episodes 4 and 5. Moving it up a week from the original scheduled date keeps it between episodes 4 and 5 when they decided to do a two-episode premiere. Yeah. Because they originally weren't doing a two-episode premiere that we knew of. When did we learn about that? It was pretty late in the game. Was it? It was like two weeks before, maybe? Hmm. I don't remember exactly when And then we... Disney's like, oh... Shoot, we forgot to move when we were putting this special on. Which leads me to believe that they want like the more casual fan to understand the relationship between Anakin and Ahsoka going into episode 5. Because Master and Apprentice, a special look at Ahsoka, Implies is going to be about the pair of them, in my strong opinion. It to be, yeah. I think it's, it's going to exist for the fact that a lot of fans going into this did not watch Clone Wars, didn't watch Rebels... So they don't understand this bond between the pair. So would it make sense to them watching episode 5 where we could be seeing flashbacks in li you know in live action, world between world stuff, we could be seeing Hayden Christensen's Anakin Skywalker. There's so many rumors going out about seeing him on Mustafar, the Duel of the Fates and all that jazz. Well, Duel of the Fates was in Whatever, you know what I mean. It was kind same, of like Duel of the music. Fates part 2. Part 2 Duel of the Fates. Yeah. That they might want to understand what the relationship between these characters really is before showing that episode yeah well then you got to assume people are going to watch that i mean maybe it'll be something short that they'll put before next week's episode too they'll probably put some sort of like a recap thing it's gonna be funny when tonight's episode which airs very shortly is gonna have anakin in it and we're gonna have to just scrap this video because no we aren't because <laughs> this video is still gonna be important going into the next video into the next episode i can guarantee it it's for the casual fans who don't know the history of these two characters to get to know them before we launch into a big story that involves maybe some in-depth information that you would want between those two characters. Yeah, but I, like I said, I think the issue is you got to get people to watch that. If you're a more casual fan, you might be like, oh, why do I got to watch well, this That's for? why they're releasing Clonakin tonight. He wasn't <laughs> in the episode, I'm really sorry. But we know that from the trailers and stuff... That Balon talks about, oh, Anakin spoke highly of you. Which I yeah. assume was in the episode that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> yeah. So that might lead people to believe, hey, watch this. Or who knows, there might even have been a little advertisement for it at the end of Ahsoka this evening. So you're doubling down on Clonakin. This is your one chance to back out. I will not back down. Right. Clonakin's real. <laughs> I won't back down. It's going to be funny when something gets revealed in the episode tonight that just totally blows it out of the water and we'll just be people are be listening but like eh, well yeah this is the game you play when you theorize yeah. theories are fun you do it because you're interested and you're invested in the show and you're I agree. excited to see where things go plus it's kind of like a fun game did my theory come true was i right did i read the right signals or was i just playing around in the in the bush by myself yeah which is most of the time what happens well, most me. of the time it's you know there's still the chance that marok is just marok which is a lot, Mar a lot could of just think, be so. marok i get it that's fine I just think if they wanted to play that game, they should have just done an open-faced Helmet Inquisitor. Well, yeah, but they want it to be cool and stylistic. See, I, I'm kind of but like... all of the live-action Inquisitors they have shown have had open-faced helmets. Not necessarily like immediately like, hey, here's my face. Yeah, but all the live-action ones they've shown, Fifth Brother, Fourth Sister, Reva, Grand Inquisitor, none of them yeah, covered their faces. Reva had a helmet. She was helmetless. I'm just saying none of them... Yeah had their faces covered, yet in this Inquisitor we're covering his face. And voice it modulation. Feels, because his face is covered, he's wearing his helmet. <laughs> yes. But it feels like it can't be nothing. 
And that uh, is my reasoning. Yeah. All the live action ones, so why just this live action one? Because he's, like, it's a I cool wear my aesthetic. Helmet. He's got his rusty armor on. Maybe he can't he even get his still... helmet off anymore. Maybe he's Mandalorian. We're making a lot of assumptions you're, here. You're making a lot of assumptions. <laughs> I think I'm actually on to something, but you're going the crazy no, route. No, I think there's a chance. I, I think, I, I'm not trying to get, you know, people excited and built up or myself excited and Morak's built probably already dead. Well, it could be. <laughs> we could be talking about Morak and everybody knows he's just Morak and he's dead. It's past tense Morak. Yeah. But no, I mean, it could be, but it could be just nothing. And I, I'm just kind of like, okay, if something's going to happen and I want something to happen. Because I feel like, you know, we're a couple episodes in and I'm kind of waiting for something like, oh, that's really cool to happen. So, sure, maybe it's with Marok. But what's interesting about the, going back to the actual topic, the special, oh, yeah. Master and Apprentice, Disney has, like, listed what it's called, you know, and all that jazz. And here's a little synopsis. It says, dive into the new Star Wars Master Apprentice legacy with the cast and filmmakers of Ahsoka. Meaning this was obviously recorded and everything before the strike because or else the cast can't talk. Well, do you think this may be, uh, maybe this is the episode we get Anakin in? Wouldn't that make more sense than being like, because it's going to ruin it for... I think there's a hint of Anakin in this one, and then the next episode is 100% Anakin. Just enough Anakin the... in this one to cliffhanger you into the next, to wanting that information. Is it going to be beyond uh, Balin's, oh uh, yeah, I knew Anakin, we were buddies. It might be. It very well because I, might be. My problem with this is, if you put this out there... It's like such a, it's either going to be a red herring or it's going to be, it's going to give the thing away, right? It's going to be, people are going to look into it way too much. I think it's so just going to go give over us... the Master and Apprentice legacy yeah, but, of those two characters. Well, sure, but the timing on it, like, why didn't you put that before the first episode? Like, you, you could have given us a good little... Because nobody would have watched it then. Well, Kenobi did something like that. Book of Boba Fett did something like that. They gave you a little, like, remember this character? Or maybe you don't know this character, so here's a little story. Like, why did they not do that with this? Because they just assumed... You would watch what all of Rebels and no, all of they Clone didn't Wars? assume that because Dave Filoni said watch these specific yeah, ones and there's people watching this who don't know who Dave Filoni is. That's true. My my point is if you were if you're going to do this, why not do it at the start? But then again, you're kind of because then they tip their hat before. But you're everything? still tipping your hat here, and now you're making it seem like oh, the next episode, get ready. You needed to know this now. Yes, but not everyone keeps track of these premiere dates. Nobody I know does. about you it. You do, but nobody. And else I'm telling does. our our listeners yeah, here about it. Yeah, they do it. now too. But not everybody. They're going to wake up one morning and be like, whoa, there's a special here about Ahsoka. And be excited. It very well could just be at the end of tonight's episode that everyone's already watched who's <laughs> listening to this. Well, not everybody. Not everybody. So we could, some people are not going to be They could even like, the know. announce it at the end of the episode tonight, right before the credits. Hey, if you want to know more, the special is coming out on Friday. Eh, they tend not to do that sort but of thing. They but they could. Or they'll put it, like, when the credits all get really small in the corner. Yeah. They could put a picture that's, like... Spoiler. So, you know, Master and Apprentice, Anakin's special coming. look at Ahsoka. I'm just saying. I know. You and are I'm trying so to frustrate contradictory. You. I'm not trying to be contradictory. I'm trying to give the uh, devil's advocate take here. I'm going to stop at the devil. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I mean, if you put this thing out there and it's all about Anakin and Ahsoka, you're telegraphing what the next episode is probably about. And then if it's not, people are like, well, why did you put that there? Like, I, it's there it for a reason. I think there's an I think there's a big Anakin thing tonight in this episode. That's what I said. That's going to make you want to watch this, yeah. preparing to watch these flashbacks and understand Ahsoka's perspective. And people go, well, if she was, a, was his Padawan, why wasn't she on Mustafar? Well, you can watch this special and they'll tell you what their relationship or you was. Watch Clone Wars Season 7, the last four episodes. Better. Nobody's going to. No, they've got time for that. They're going to watch this well, special, which will probably that. be relatively short. It's probably not going to be any longer than a half hour to 45 minutes the most. I don't think it's going to be that long. Exactly. I think this is going to be like a most. five to ten minute thing. I really do. Mm-hmm. It's just going to be like a recap. And they they want to get it out there because at some point Anakin is coming back in a big way and people need to understand the relationship and they don't want to take the time in the actual episode to give it. I, I, I agree with you fully. I just don't like the timing. I wish they would have just done it beforehand. Because then you could have just said, well, I mean, obviously Ahsoka and Anakin's relationship is a big deal for the series. That doesn't mean Anakin's going to be in there. We well, just need to give you a baseline of what it's all about. that hint of I walked away from Anakin. Yeah, exactly. So, so right in the first episode, you would have been. So pieces of information, now they're going to give you a special. Yeah, but they should have given it just before. But just flat didn't. out before. Because if they're doing cast interviews and Hayden pops up, it'd be like, oh, it's Hayden. Well, <laughs> sure. Sure. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Or we've seen, if you're listening to this. We will see. Or we haven't seen and we're know. disappointed. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. It's one of those videos where we don't know exactly what to do because it's Wednesday and the new 
new episode comes out, but we yeah. don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it yet, but we still want to do a news. Because the main channel will put up its It's review. already up there. I've already seen it. Yeah, this me has already seen it and knows whether or not Anakin is in it and whether or not I like the episode. Uh, this you hasn't seen it. Well, no, the this you. No, the you that they're hearing is still this me, but oh, boy. don't worry. It's time travel. It all makes sense. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Okay. Why don't you use the world between worlds and figure Maybe that out? Maybe I did. Maybe you didn't. But no, my review is already up. So if you want to know what I thought of it, go check out my channel. Yes. Shameless plug for myself. And then tomorrow we'll be discussing comments from his channel. Yes. So if you want to... On this channel. Yeah, go leave a comment on that video. Chance will discuss it in tomorrow's video. Yeah. Especially if you say like, hey Thor, um, I really want... I watched your video that no one is watching because it's Ahsoka Day and it really doesn't have anything to do with it. So please read my comment in tomorrow's <laughs> video. <laughs> Don't have to be quite that specific, but... I'll get the gist of it if I see somebody uh, say something like that. Okay. We could have always put a secret code word in this video. Yeah. But they might have already commented on your other video, so. <laughs> that's true, too. Time see, that's travel. the problem with time travel. It gets complicated. It is complicated. We have to record these in advance, though, because I will be at work when this video comes out. Yes. Yeah. After yes. I come home, I record the video for the next day. Generally, yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you're off, we will do it in the morning, but. Yeah. But me Monday gets recorded usually on my day off because me yes. Monday, it's a it's a procedure. It's a labor of love. It truly is. I sit back and watch you labor over I what want, you love. I want more Shin memes for anyone who uh, is a me Monday participant. I would like more memes about Shin Hadi. Shin Hadi, yes. <laughs> I didn't know she was so beloved until the internet told me so, and now I love. Well, I always said she had crazy squirrel energy. You did. You liked her from the start, but I for did. different reasons I than did. Uh, just the pure hotness factor. <laughs> The crazy hotness. <laughs> we, we've got off topic here. We had a topic. Oh, yeah. We did, yes. All right. Well, that is going to be all we got for you this time. Take us out, Mr. Sulu. <laughs> Engage. Anyway, I don't remember now. Now you got me wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, time to take to the comments below. Let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>